Murder cases involving public figures are rare. Today's case tells the story of the fall of professional baseball player Lee Ho Sung and the brutal murder of a woman and her three children. February 26, 2008. A man surnamed Kim, the older brother of the victim, started to get worried about his younger sister, who he hadn't been able to contact for a few days. He decided to pay her a visit at her home in Changjeondong in the Mapo district. He rang the doorbell and knocked, but it didn't seem like anyone was home. He suddenly felt like something wasn't right. And so, he decided to force the door open somehow. As soon as he got the door open, the first thing he saw was the living room light shattered. His sister's computer was also on, as if someone had been using it. Aside from this, the home was neat and tidy. To him, it seemed as if his sister rushed out of the house to deal with an urgent matter. He didn't think much of it and left. Five days went by, it was March 3rd, and still he couldn't reach her, and so he decided to visit the restaurant his younger sister ran. A restaurant employee told him something that seemed odd. The employee told him that his sister got off work around midnight on February 18th and took a trip somewhere. She had told the employee to take care of the restaurant until she got back. She hadn't been seen since then. The brother rushed to the police station to file a missing persons report for his sister and her three daughters. That's right, his sister wasn't the only one missing. Her daughters were also unaccounted for as well. The police started their investigation by searching the woman's home. In the process, they found a bloodstain. They suspected right away that something had gone down in the home. To trace the victim's whereabouts before and after she got off work on that day in February, investigators looked at CCTV footage from her apartment. They spotted a very suspicious-looking man wearing black clothes and a hat covering most of his face in the footage. The video showed the man going back and forth carrying several bags on the first floor of the apartment on the day the victim is presumed to have gone missing. It seemed to police as if the man was trying to intentionally cover his face with his hat. And the very large travel suitcase next to him was also very suspicious looking. Detectives then talked to the victim's friends and acquaintances. They learned from their interviews the victim had gotten close to a man surnamed Lee. Some of her acquaintances told police they heard from the victim's oldest daughter that her mother could even marry this guy. Police also heard that the oldest daughter told her friend that her mother and the man are going on a trip the apparent day the victim went missing. It turned out this man was Lee Ho Sung, a professional baseball cleanup hitter who was popular in the 1990s. After Lee retired, he ran a wedding hall and was a successful businessman. But in 2005, he lost around 10 billion won in an indoor screen race course deal and went bankrupt. This was followed by an arrest involving real estate development fraud. He was released on bail, but he spent his days in debt and borrowing money here and there. Police made it their top priority to determine who the man was in the CCTV footage. The footage was shown to people who knew the victim. They said the body type of the man in the video and the way he walked was very similar to that of Lee Sung. Then an apartment resident came forward saying they saw the man carrying a bag from the elevator on the day the victim and her daughters went missing. The resident said the man looked familiar, saying he looked like baseball player Lee Sung. Police thought they had enough evidence to focus on Lee Ho Sung as the prime suspect. On March 8th, when the investigation was just getting started, the news had come out even before police started searching for Lee Ho Sung. Two days later, on March 10th, police decided to make it an open criminal investigation 
as they thought it would be easy to find him, as he was already well known to many people. However, that day, around three in the afternoon, a person riding a boat along the Han River discovers something in the water. It was a man's body. It was determined to be Yi Hu-sung after a fingerprint identification. The body didn't have any noticeable wounds. Police suspected suicide. It was presumed he died that day at 3 a.m. as the body was stiff. Investigators were unsure how to continue on with the case as the main suspect was found dead even before he could be interrogated. But that same day, the day the case was changed to an open criminal investigation, and the day the suspect's body was found in the river, police received a tip from Hwasun, South Chala Province. They said a person who looked like baseball player Yi Ho-sung asked them for a favor. The favor was digging up a hole to lay a tombstone at a cemetery in Hwasun. It was a strange tip. Police immediately traveled to Hwasun to see the hole for themselves. In the hole, they found the four suitcases seen in the CCTV footage from the victim's apartment. They opened the suitcases and found four bodies, each wrapped in thick plastic. They were the victim and her three daughters. Pasun, where the bodies of the victims were discovered, was Yi Ho Sang's hometown. It was near a cemetery where his father was buried. The woman and her middle and youngest daughters had homeware on, as seen on CCTV footage by police at the start of their investigation. But the oldest daughter was wearing clothes for going out. Autopsies revealed that the woman and her middle and youngest daughters died of asphyxia caused by cervical compression. The oldest daughter who was out died from blunt force trauma. Let's pause and go back and look at the night the victim is presumed to have gone missing and try to piece through what exactly happened based on the police's investigation. It was midnight on February 18th. The victim told a restaurant employee that she was going on a trip for a few days. The next morning, she withdrew 170 million won that she had saved up from five banks. She then returned home. Between 4 and 5 p.m., a vehicle enters the victim's apartment complex. It's an SM5 that she drives. There's footage of the car being parked. But the driver isn't the victim, but rather a strange-looking man. Then around 9 p.m., this man is seen dragging a cart to and from the victim's home about five times. The man then loaded the large bags onto a vehicle and left the area. From the CCTV footage, it looked as if the suspect murdered the woman and two of her daughters at her home and then moved their bodies. There was also a record of a call between the woman's phone and her oldest daughter between 11 and 12 that night. A few hours later, around 4 a.m., on February 19th, a signal from the mobile phone of the oldest daughter was detected in Hwasun, South Chola Province. It looked as if the suspect called the oldest daughter and murdered her outside. A forensic investigation revealed that the oldest daughter died of a fracture of the skull and cerebral hemorrhaging from blunt force trauma. Then, between 9 and 11 in the morning that day, the Hwasun resident who received the favor from Yi Ho-sung dug the hole near the cemetery. Around noon, the victim's SM5 is seen on CCTV footage leaving Hwasun. It looked as if the person in the car was leaving after burying the bodies. At 2 a.m., Yi Ho-sung stopped by Gwangju and gave an acquaintance 50 million won. He told the acquaintance to deposit the money into his brother's account. At 4 p.m., a text message was sent from the victim's mobile phone to the restaurant employee telling them to take care of the place. A day later, at 6 p.m. on February 20th, the SM5 belonging to the missing woman returned to the victim's apartment. It's parked and the driver left the area. 
But there is something a bit confusing here. There was an opinion from an expert that the person who drove the SM5 back to the apartment, based on CCTV footage, was someone other than Yi Yuzong. And so, there were suspicions there could have been an accomplice. All evidence, the bodies that were discovered and the records recovered, pointed to Yi Hwasong as the culprit. But he was found dead, and so there wasn't much more police could do in terms of looking further into him. It didn't make sense to some why he allegedly carried out these crimes and committed suicide. According to the police, before the woman died, she withdrew 170 million won. Investigators suspect that Yi Hwasong asked to borrow some of that money, and there was an issue with that, which led to the murders. There was also another woman that Yi Hwasong was seeing, a side chick surnamed Cha. Cha said Yi Hwasong had asked her to lend him money, saying he would pay it back. At the time, Yi Hwasong was in debt of billions of won because of a failed business. Did he murder the woman and her three daughters for just 170 million won? Why did he have to murder the middle and youngest daughter and call the oldest daughter and kill her separately? Questions arose about the other woman in Yi Hoseong's life, surnamed Cha. Cha said Yi Hoseong's money matters were complicated, but she said it wasn't to the point that he would commit murder. Cha said she met Yi Hoseong in the days before his body was found on March 10. He had met her while he was on the run. According to her testimony, they stayed at a hotel in Seoul on the night of March 8. She said that they saw a news report of the death of a woman and her three daughters. Cha said she asked Yi Hoseong if it was him. Lee said no and turned off the TV. The next day, they were in a taxi crossing Songsu Bridge. Yi Hoseong got off on the bridge and sent her home. Cha said she got a call from Lee around midnight. It was their last call. Yi Hoseong is believed to have committed suicide after this call. If Cha was the last person to see and talk to Yi Hoseong, he must have said something to her related to the murders and even partially admitted to it. But there was no additional testimony and so this case was terminated. To this day, there are still questions, but those questions do not have answers, and they may never be answered. This was the murder case of cleanup hitter Yi Hoseong. Thanks for watching.